Hi, today I want to talk a bit about uh, how you do split sourcing in Unifield. So first let's look at the steps that we have in Unifield to do any kind of sourcing. So we start with the need, um, then we'll do the sourcing, maybe some procurement, um, a reception, and then finally a delivery. So let's look at the steps in detail. Uh, it all starts with an IR. In this IR, we have several lines, so maybe we don't source them all from the same source. Let's source the first ones from stock and the bottom ones on order. This will create, of course, an out, a delivery order. The first two lines which were sourced from stock will be available, while the other ones are not available. Because there was a PO created for the, for the bottom two, uh, three lines. So when we validate this uh, PO and then confirm it, we'll get a commitment voucher, which is a document for the finance people. Um, also, when we confirm it, we'll get an incoming shipment. And as soon as we process this, the documents, uh, the products will become available in the out. Also, we get a supplier invoice um, to facilitate the payment of this purchase. So these are the, the general steps that we have when we do a split sourcing. And now let's take a look at how it looks like in Unifield. For this, I'll quickly switch over to Unifield. So this is my Unifield. And I should also have a Okay, so let's take a look at how we do a split sourcing in Unifield. So I've got my Unifield here and over here I have the paper request form that we received for this. So the first step of course is entering all the information that we have in the request form into Unifield. I go over to orders, then to internal requests. and I will create a new one. So now I have to copy everything from the right side of the screen to the left. The requester, that would be Lara from Outreach. Um, the order date um, is the 17th, so yesterday. The location requester will be in our system Outreach. The requested date, uh, it's the 24th, so one week from now. And the origin will copy the number of the paper request form. So that's IR17-0034 out. OK, so now we want to add three items to this IR. So I'll click on Add Multiple Lines. I will add my products. Okay, so for the first item, I'll enter tape here as the description and hit enter. I can see that there's a lot of different tape options in the system. So let's see if we have a stationary list in the system which will help us find the products. So I'll select the stationary list and go over here and click on search. And wow, there's only a couple of tapes in the stationary list. Okay, so I'll select the MSF tape. Um, the second item would be a notebook. And that's also on the stationary list. Um, I'll take the hardback one. I can see that I don't have any stock, but uh, I can see uh, how to get it in the sourcing tool. And the last item would be pens. So I'll look for pen. And we have the black ballpoint pens. We have 110 of those. That should suffice. I'll select this one, click select to get it all into the next screen and add the products to my internal request. Um, now I'll copy the quantities. For that I can just click on the lines. So for the 
notebooks she wants um, 10 and I click enter to confirm the line for the pens she wants a hundred and enter and for the tape she wants three rolls enter good so now as you can see on the paper request we have the signatures of the requester the supervisor and uh, also from the logistics department so this is a valid request so I can just validate it in the system perfect good now I can close this one and we can go on a view like this to have more space okay so now that I've validated uh, the IR I can find it in the order sourcing tool as you can see there's a lot of lines here and just so I don't confuse which lines I want to source I type in 07 because I remember that my IR is 07 click on search and I will see only the IR uh, lines from IR7 good so here I can already see that some lines have stock and others don't have stock the lines that I have in stock these two I will select them both click on the source lines button up here and now select that I want to get them from stock the location should of course be the logistical stock I can see that we have the stock so I click save and source this line we don't have in stock so I have to get it from a supplier so I click on the pencil it should be on order Let's create a purchase order and for the supplier we'll select a team supplies save it and source it perfect now all lines from IR7 are sourced if we turn to the home screen um, we should be able to find in the warehouse a delivery order created for this IR we can also go to the IR in over here and we'll find all sourcing documents created for this IR directly here so if we want to edit the PO we can go directly to the PO if we want to take a look at the delivery order we can do it as well it will open a new tab and we can see that all three lines are there but the first line is not available because it's not yet been purchased so we go back to the first tab open the document for the PO and we will treat the PO so the first thing is that we want to create an um, analytical distribution we click on new um, destination is support cost center should be CM05 for our project percentage 100 percent click on the little disk save it and we can see that the analytical distribution is valid now um, next step is updating the price so I click here on the pencil for the line And the price for the notebooks is 295. Okay, so I save and close. So now that I have these information updated, I can also change the order category to logistical, and it's a regular order. Now I want to print it. So this is the version that you print and then you have the people sign uh, somebody from the supply department, um, a content responsible, a finance responsible, 
and a mission responsible, which could be the PC. Okay, so we have it printed, we have it signed, then we can get it validated in the system. Okay, so now that we've validated this PO, we can call the supplier and ask, okay, so if we order today, when can you actually deliver? Um, we go over to the delivery tab and we can enter this information. He says you can del deliver by Friday of this week. So now we have all the information we need. We have the products, the price and the delivery date. So if I confirm now, there will be a couple of documents created. You can see up here the messages. The commitment voucher was created. This will block um, the amount needed from the budget. Uh, also, the PO was confirmed and we can see that the reception was scheduled for the 14th because that's the day I said the supplier could um, deliver us the, the items. So if I click directly on this message, I will get to the incoming shipment. Incoming shipment can also be found in warehouse and incoming shipments. And you will see that it has a reference, but also the reference of the PO and the IR. Okay, so let's process this incoming shipment. Um, first thing you always want to do with an incoming shipment is put in the date that you actually do the reception. Uh, we'll do this on Friday. Then you print it and have your storekeeper verify all the items and the quantities. So here in the quantity received area he can note down which items he actually received and which quantities. So we click on process So now, as we want to receive all the uh, notebooks, we just click on copy all. So we ordered 10 and we receive 10. Then we click on process to receive them into our stock. This will move the notebooks to the location cross docking so we can deliver it with our delivery order. So let's return to our first tab. And here in the IR7, we can go to out number two. And we will see that now all three lines are available because we received the items. So now, here again, you want to print it first. Hand this over to your storekeeper um, so he can deliver all the items together with this. Then after he has delivered everything and you have the actual signature of the receiver here, you can process the delivery order. And again, it's going to ask you how much was ordered, how much did you deliver, you click copy all, and then you process it. So, and as we already have the signature, we can also confirm the delivery. So, that's how you treat uh, split sourcing in Unifield.